Becca Laurent here and today we are going to talk about what to do with all of your information that you have collected for herbalism. Let's get started. that you're going to go out and you're going to learn herbalism and you start buying all these books an impressive collection isn't it but now you don't know what to do you have an element in the house and you don't know where to start so I am going to help you today clear all of this clutter and organize to where you can come up with your own solutions. And how I do that is with my own notebook. All right, so you can start with a simple little spiral notebook like this. Uh, you can get it uh, on sale uh, a lot of times at Walmart for about 25 cents. You know, even if you have to pay a dollar, who? not a big deal. Okay, but... This is something that you're going to keep and you're going to be using for a long time. So my motto is go big or go home. And just to be fair, I did start off with a small notebook uh, and then I ended up with a journal and then expanded to a, a, a large three week, uh, or a three ring binder. And that particular notebook that uh, was mine, uh, that had all my private uh, herbal remedies and, and thoughts about herbs, it was destroyed in a flood that we had a couple of years ago. So, this is why I have a very large notebook, and I like scrapbooking, so I did scrapbooking, herbal, or herbal style scrapbooking. So this is, this is my private notebook, and as you can see, some of it is printed pages from the internet. This is from a, um, a website that I follow quite a, quite a bit and, and have had a subscription to off and on over the years. It's called Herb Mentor. Definitely a site to go to uh, if you're looking for more herbal information than what you can find in a book. Uh, but they do have uh, descriptions and how to cultivate and they have the history uh, and all sorts of different resources uh, for various different herbs. But some of the herbs they didn't have. Let me find one. Okay, so they don't have Arnica and I haven't filled in Arnica yet. As you can see, this is a work in progress. But you can see here that I have some recipes that I have uh, created and like, so I put it in uh, in my book. And I'm still looking for one that I have. Ah, uh, there we go. Beauty Berry. So this is one that I have started writing about and what it's good for. And how I do this is I'll take my books that you have already seen and I'll go through them one herb at a time. So I pick maybe say uh, Beauty Berry one day and I will just go through all my books and see what they say. Uh, and uh, like Bee Balm, I've done the same thing with that. I might find information online. Uh, I do a lot of uh, folklore as well. So you'll find uh, folklore information uh, in, in this book. Uh, this is just my personal book on my personal thoughts about, about herbs. So with your book that you create, you can create it any way you want. All you need is some paper and something to write with. I have all sorts of, see, go big, go home. 
I have all sorts of pens, uh, different colors that I use, and I just sit down and I'm able to relax and unwind as I'm enjoying going through the process of learning about my herb. Also, one thing that I, I want to point out is I don't have every herb that is available for every ailment in this book. Uh, I choose to follow uh, the old world or a little bit of the new world medicine, so I don't uh, norm necessarily use Chinese medicine, so you're not going to find very many Chinese herbs in here. Uh, it's going to be more of history of the herbs and what they can be used for, what is their counterindications, uh, if I uh, think it's going to be something that I'm going to go look for, like it grows naturally in my area here in Texas, then uh, I'll eventually put a photo similar to this. But uh, this is a personal book. So if there is an herb in here that you're seeing that you don't want to use uh, or you don't think is appropriate for you to use, or even the information that you don't necessarily follow on a particular herb, you don't have to put it in your book. This is your book. So I hope this information helped you today uh, for you to start your own herbal book. Have fun with it. Uh, leave the comments below on what your book looks like or leave a video uh, response for yourself. Uh, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up and leave the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell button uh, for further information that I put out on a regular basis. This is Becca, and I hope to see you again soon. Bye!